an American werewolf in London, based on the film script by John Landis, starring Jenny Agutter, Brian Glover, John Woodvine, and Eric Myers as David. Longer. It's only 15 minutes after clocking off. Third time this month. Well, I think I'm carrying on with the barmaid out at Slaughtered Lamb. <laughs> Bloody likely. Anyway, you can always give the overtime to the missus. I'll just finish up on tea wing then. Lovely tart. Bloody Jenkins. Come on, tart stand. North Riding Sanatorium. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, Tobit. <laughs> oh, niggas. Tolbert, you're not in your cut, old fella. Nice, no, that was 20 minutes ago. <coughs> yes, sir. Your wife rang, I told her. <coughs> oh, what now? Everything all right? No, it's a new one on the first floor. Tolbert? Yeah, it sounds like he's picking his guts up. Hey, hang on, I'll get Dawson up to help you. No, he's only an old case. That'll make certain he's got his head down the pan. Come on, old fella, what's the matter? Are you feeling a bit rusty? Uh, uh, oh, 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 come on, get onto your feet, lad. Now you stand up and let's have a look at you. I'm, I'm, I'm all right, really, I'm upset, tell me. Well, well, it's a bed when you're finished, eh? Aye. Charlie? Well, it's all right, Stan. It's just getting used to canteen food, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll lock up for you now. Mr Jenkins will take you presently. So, sleep well. Robert? <laughs> from the moors this time of year with all the tourists and backpackers. Did you see the mess he made of that guard? I uh, worked the river case 15 years ago and I thought that was bad. Oh. Come on! So, you were in the surveillance yeah. room throughout the attack. Yeah. For Pete's sake, shut up in there! Yeah. Place is like a madhouse. <laughs> Did I make a joke, officer? That's it. Shut it! Go on. I heard the whole thing over the radio. It's still switched on. I ran down fast as I could, found Charlie like this. Tolbert must have smashed his way out through the corridor window. Chop and glass, 20 foot drop. Well, I didn't let him out, if that's what you mean. Pathologist here, Detective Inspector. No, all right. You better go and write this up with the sergeant. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah, you can do that too. Come on then, pal, this way. God, there's enough blood. Where's the body? Over there. Good grief. And over here. I see. Another bit over here, sir. Yes, thank you, officer. Anything been touched, Detective Inspector? Not if we could help it. Fascinating. What kind of weapon could mince a human being up like this? Well, judging by this portion of the upper torso, I'd say teeth. Right. If you'll just sign the statement here, please. Is that it? That's it for now. Uh, you're the only witness. Probably have to answer a few more questions yet. But I didn't see anything. All right, well, just wait here while I check. Can I ring the wife? Tell her I'll be late, like. Ring her you like, lad. You're not under arrest. <laughs> oh, hello, hello? Is that the slaughtered lamb? Put George on, will you? No! Quickly! 
George, it's Stan at the sanatorium. No, no, he's out. Yes, out. To you dumb sheep. No, 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 she's trying to tell you something. She said, bah, bah. No, 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 bah. Oh, bah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> bah. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Ba, 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 <laughs> this is what they call sheep worrying. What's that? Hey, no, 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 all, no, no, all no, no, the no. sheep are music lovers. <laughs> Don't the Americans? Uh, uh, Whoa, man, I smell like a sheep. Oh, well, you're very lucky. I hear they have a keen sense of smell. Ah, ah, ah very good. <laughs> hey, helicopter. You don't expect helicopters at night on the Yorkshire Moors, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Bronte sister or two, maybe. Oh. A helicopter? No. I wish. <laughs> hey, hey, what's the name of this place we're staying at? Uh, it's, uh, East. Proctor. All right, you remember to call and get two singles full breakfast? <laughs> My phone card ran out on Tuesday. What? You didn't make reservations? Oh, come on, it's the end of the season. There'll be plenty of rooms. What is this, the Holiday Inn, East Proctor? Uh, the, the Slaughtered Lamb. Oh, yeah, how lovely. <laughs> Freezing our bus off for two hours in the back of a truck filled with sheep. Now know where to sleep. <laughs> come on, it'll be fine. Yorkshire people are really friendly. There'll be beds available. Helicopter? <laughs> you don't say. Harrogate Central, surveillance to over. Come in to over. Uh, no thermal image from sanatorium fugitive. One vehicle on East Proctor Road. We had a look, single driver, two backpackers and a few sheep in the back. Otherwise, no sign. Uh, do you want to give it another sweep, over? Uh, negative, we need to refuel. All right, to uh, come back in. We'll resume the search of first light, over. Suits me, Sharon. Glad I'm not out in the moors tonight. Freezing fog and some maniac loose, no thanks. about the singing. Yeah. Yeah, bye, girls. <laughs> See you next Wednesday. <laughs> get it? See you? <laughs> yeah, I get it. See you. Are you cold? Yes. Good. Jack. David. You're not having a good time, are you? Oh, I don't know. I mean, look around. Isn't this a fun place? Well, I like it here. It's exactly what I'd hoped for. Oh, I'm sorry. Northern England first, Italy later. Right. I mean, we got three months. Right. Do you think she'll meet me in Rome? I think Debbie Klein is a mediocre person with a good body. Debbie is not mediocre, and she has one of the great bodies of all time. <laughs> She's a jerk. You're talking about the woman I love. I'm talking about a girl you want to use and degrade. So give me a break. Well, anyway, do you think she'll meet me? I don't know. Rendezvous in Rome, starring Jack Goodman and Debbie Klein. <laughs> The love affair that shocked Europe. See toward lovemaking at its most explicit. See Jack and Debbie expose their lust in the sacred halls of the Vatican. Never has the screen dared. If you don't stop, I'm gonna kill you. I have to make love to her. It's very simple. She has no choice, really. It just fascinates me that you can spend so much energy on someone so dull. <laughs> it's impossible for a body like that to be dull. We've known Debbie, what, since the eighth grade? How many years of foreplay is that? Oh, she says she likes me too much. Ha! Wait a second. Is that a light? Uh-huh. This is it. He's Proctor. What? How can you tell? What, is it the neon lights? Uh, the Rolls Royces cruising Main Street? 
or perhaps the completely deserted, dark, dingy hovels around that miserable-looking pub. That's our place for the night. Is this the slaughtered lamb? Of course, the slaughtered lamb. Oh, Why else would they have a severed fox head on a spear as their symbol? It's a wolf's head. Of course, the slaughtered lamb. Why else would they have a severed wolf's head on a spear as their symbol? That's not a spear, it's a pike. Of course, a severed wolf's head on a pike is their symbol. David, before we go in there, yeah. I want you to know that no matter what happens to us, it's your fault. I assume full responsibility. Yeah, I'll hold you to that. Well, what could go wrong, for Pete's sake? <laughs> Oh, yuck. It's in the guidebook. Oh. The slaughtered lamb says a typical Yorkshire village pub full of quaint charm and a cheery welcome. <laughs> Hello? Here we go, Linton. Uh, nice to see you. It's very cold outside. Yeah. Can we come in? You are in. You're looking for something? Oh, yeah. Do you have any hot soup? No. Well, do you have any coffee? No. Hot chocolate? We've spirits and beer. If it's something hot you want, you can have tea. Oh, then you have some hot tea. No. Oh. But I can make a pot for you if you want. Oh, yes, yes please. please. Uh, we'll sit over here then, by the door. Yeah. Just here. <sighs> God, nice looking bunch, huh? Listen, at least it's warm in here. Yeah. Hey, look at that weird mark over there on the wall. Between those candles? Yeah, what, what about it? It's a five-pointed star. Well, maybe the owner's from Texas or something. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Here's your tea. Yeah, remember the Alamo, huh? I beg your pardon. Uh, he was only joking, thank you. Joking? I remember the Alamo. I saw it once in London in Leicester Square. What, what's she talking about? She means in the cinema, that film with John Wayne. Oh, yeah, of course. Checkmate. Well, the, right, right, with, with, with Loris Harvey and everybody dying in it? Yeah, it was very bloody. Bloody awful, if you ask me. Reminds me of a joke I had. Yeah, you don't know what a joke is. Yeah. Ask him what the candles are for. You ask him. Oh, listen, that's a pentangle, a five-pointed star. It's used in witchcraft. Lon Chaney Jr. and Universal Studios maintain as a mark of the wolf man. <laughs> yeah, I see. You want me to ask these people if they're burning candles to ward off monsters. Right. Wrong. Sergeant, nothing at all. We did a normal search pattern, sir. Must have covered over a hundred square miles. And yet the sanatorium guard swore there was a trail of broken vegetation heading off towards East Proctor. Well, uh, there's a special constable in the village there, sir. George Hackett, one of the locals. Yes, yes, I'll give him a ring. Better safe than sorry, with a killer on the loose. Anyway, anyway, there was this aeroplane over the Atlantic on its way to New York. It was full of men from the United Nations. Oh, that's very funny, George, that is. Uh, Go on, ask them. You ask them. Here now, let me finish. So halfway over the ocean, the engines run low on petrol, so they have to lighten the load. So they heave out all the baggage, but it's still too heavy. So they chuck out the seats, but... It's still too heavy. Finally, this froggy steps up, shouts, Vive la France, and leaps out. An Englishman steps up and shouts, God save the Queen, and leaps out. But the plane is still too heavy. So the young delicate from Texas steps up, shouts, Remember the Alamo? And chugs out the Mexican! <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Alamo? <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, what's the star drawn on the wall for? With the candles? You've made me spill me pint. I'm sorry. I, I don't like to see good beer wasted. Jack, we better go. Come on. What do you mean? I'm starving. There's no food here. Okay, okay. Well, what about a room for the night? The place is full. Try the next village. Uh, Come on, Jack. Let's get out of here. Jack, let them go. Uh, how much do we owe you? Nothing, lads. Go. God be with you. Uh, thanks. Wait. Go. I just can't and stay on the road. Keep clear of the moors. Yeah, uh, thanks again. Beware the moon, lads. Yeah, right. This isn't right. Oh. Oh, Slaughtered lamb? Special constable? Oh, George. That'll be for you, George. <laughs> Give it to you, Mary. This is George Hackett. Oh, Detective Inspector Smith. I 
That was a weird, weird pub. I guess leaving was the best idea. Oh, I don't know. Now that we're out here in this lovely freezing weather, I'm not so sure I wouldn't rather face a bloodthirsty mob. They weren't exactly a bloodthirsty mob. I mean, it was like they had a joke we weren't in on or something. But not funny, anyway. You know, we were the joke. I mean, there's no need for people to act like that, is there? What do you think was wrong, anyway? I, I have no idea. Hey, you know, maybe the pentangle scratched on the wall was for something, you know, supernatural. Oh, Yorkshire isn't the kind of place where... Shh. Did you hear that? What? A woman's voice. Going... Heathcliff, I want your body! Oh, cut it out, David! <laughs> Jeez. The moors are spooky enough as it is. Oh, come on, Jack. Think about Italy. Debbie Klein. Exactly. I want to live long enough to have my wicked way with her. Are you going to be this cheerful all night? I can't help it. This place gives me a bad feeling. David? 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 This way. Oh, oh, sh oh. How far is it to the next village? Oh, let's see. South Proctor, seven miles. It's oh, got a hotel. Geez. I'd settle for a warm haystack. Do they have haystacks on the moors? <laughs> no, besides any minute now, it's gonna... Oh, please don't rain. Of oh. course. <sighs> Say, David. I'm well aware of how pleasant the weather is in Rome at the present time, Jack. Thank you. Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. <laughs> Perhaps they'll be safe in the rain. No one brought them here. No one wanted them here. You could have told them, George, and now we know they're in danger. Are you daft? What do you think they say? But think us mad. But we're not mad. And we know there's good reason to fear. He knows better than to come back here. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going after them. You're supposed to. You're the special constable. If they stay on the road, they're perfectly safe. Look, if we said any more, we'd be involved. And we agreed we wouldn't get involved this time. Am I right? You're right. Shh. Listen. Did you hear it? We must go to them. I heard nothing. I heard that. What was it? Could be a lot of things. Yeah? A coyote. There aren't any coyotes in England. Or the Hound of the Baskervilles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yosemite Sam. Heathcliff? Heathcliff didn't howl. No, but he was on the moors. <laughs> hey, it's a full moon. Beware the moon. Oh. I vote we go back to the slaughtered lamb. Yeah. No. No? Look down. Huh? We're not on the road anymore. We're lost. David, what is that? I don't know. Come on. Come on where? Anywhere. I think we should just keep moving. Oh, OK. It's moving. It's circling us. Uh, shit. We need a plan. Plan? Let's just keep walking. OK. That's right. A lovely stroll on the moors. La, 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 la. Isn't this fun? It's in front of us. Do you think it's a dog? Listen. Oh, shit. What is that? I don't know. It's a sheepdog or something. Turn slowly and let's walk away. Nice doggy. Uh, good boy. Walk Ooh. away, Jack. Yes, sir. Walk it away. Here we are. Walk it away. You see anything? No. It sounds far away. Not far enough. Come on. Jack? Yeah? Where are we going? I'll tell you when we get there. Well, I'm where are we? Ow! We're with it! David! David! I slipped, but it's okay. Oh, my butt hurts. Oh, man, you really scared me, you shit head. Oh, are you gonna help me up? Yeah. Here, grab my hand. Thanks. <laughs> Where did 
that animal go? Yes, I should think. He called out just now. Oh. He's an American, you know. Dr. Hirsch is going to fetch around one of his embassy people to see him. Oh. Chart says he's from New York. I think he's a Jew. Why on earth do you say that? I looked. Really, Susan? <laughs> Don't think that was very proper. And besides, it's common practice now. Yes, Miss Gallagher. Oh. Miss Price is quite correct. <laughs> Dr. Hirsch, Mr. Kessler cried out a minute ago. Miss Gallagher, surely you must perform some function here at the hospital? Yes, Doctor. Then get on with it. Yes. Uh, can I be of service to you, Miss Price? Dr. Hirsch? Go about your duties. Yes, Doctor. Oh, Miss Price. Yes, Doctor. What exactly did he call out? He said Jack. Ah, that would be Jack Goodman, the boy who was killed. What happened to them? The police report said an escaped lunatic attacked them. He must have been a very powerful man. Although I don't really see that it's any of your concern, Miss Price. Uh, no, sir. Of course, sir. Good day, Doctor Hirsch. Uh. Though for the life of me, I still can't see how a human being could inflict wounds like these. Hello, David. I'm Dr. Hirsch, and this is a countryman of yours, Mr. Collins. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Kessler. Where am I? You're in a hospital in London. London? Where's Jack? Oh, I had a strange dream. I should think so, oh. after your recent traumatic experiences. The guy I was with, is he all right? Well, how did I get to London? Now, David, I want oh. you to prepare yourself. Your friend is dead. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, Jack is dead? Mr. Kessler, oh. I'm Mr. Collins no. of the American Embassy here in oh. Grosvenor Square. Mr. Goodman's parents have been oh. notified of his death. Your parents oh. are unable to return from their business trip for another fortnight, but I will keep them informed of your recovery. Everything's in order. Everything's in order? What are you talking about? Uh, Mr. Goodman's oh, body God. has been air freighted back to New York for burial. Your parents have wired funds for your stay in the hospital until you're well enough to fly home. You don't crate and ship Jack like some side of beef. Uh, who the hell are you people? Oh, What's going on here? Where is Jack? I demand to see him. Let me up, damn it. Miss Price. Oh. Miss Price. Please! Uh, get your damn hands off me! Where the hell is he? Dr. Hirsch! Uh, I realize how upsetting this must be for you, Mr. Uh, Kessler, but please try to refrain from hysterics! Nurse uh, Price, 20 milligrams uh, Haldol uh, IV, please. Uh, now, Mr. Kessler, try not to excite yourself. Uh, Everything has been arranged. Uh, I shall come back to check on your progress and send on the reports to your parents. The police have requested to interview you, and I have given them permission to do so. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Collins. He'll rest now, and I'm sure everything will be fine once he's adjusted. He's had quite a shock. These dumbass kids never appreciate anything you do for them. Yes, well, goodbye. How long have I been here? You've been unconscious since you were brought in here two weeks ago. Two weeks? You've suffered some rather severe cuts and bruises, lost a bit of blood, but nothing too serious. You'll be black and blue for a while. You'll have some dueling scars to boast of. That lunatic must have been a very fierce fellow. They say a madman has the strength of ten. Lunatic? Now, we've just given you a pretty strong sedative, so try to get some rest now. Miss Price will see to your needs. Let's just tuck you in. It wasn't a lunatic. I beg your pardon? It was a wolf. What? A wolf. Roger is so terribly boring. Yes, dear, but couldn't we... Ah, oh, I see. Yet next Thursday at eight, dinner with boring Roger, yes. Yet I'm sure I will. If I survived your sister's party, I suppose I'll survive another excruciating evening with Roger Matheson. 
Yeah, be a good girl. Bye. Yes? Superintendent Villas and Sergeant McManus are here to see you, Doctor. Send them in. Dr. Hush? Oh, come in, come in. Uh, please sit down. Uh, uh, some tea? Uh, no, thank you. I'd like some tea, please. I don't think so, Sergeant. Oh, maybe not. Uh, no, thanks. Maybe later. It's no problem. No, thank you, Doctor. Well, then, what can I do for Scotland Yard? Well, we understand the Kessler boy has regained consciousness. <coughs> oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Roger Matheson, Doctor. What? Here? He's on the telephone. Oh, tell him I'm out. Tell him I've passed away an old war wound or something. Tell him I'm dead. And no more calls. Dr. Hirsch? Uh, you were saying? Has Mr. Kessler said anything regarding the attack on the moors? Let's ask him. I'm sorry to conflict with your report, but Jack and I were not attacked by a man. So you've said. He uh, may have a point, sir. Two strong boys could fight off one man. Sergeant McManus, are you suggesting that David and Jack were, in fact, attacked by some animal and that the official from Mavis Proctor has conspired to keep it a secret? Well, it's it's Special a... Constable Hackett was on the scene and shot the assailant dead. We have an autopsy report on the body which describes it as... Uh... White male, late 50s, cause of death, gunshot wound to heart. To be continued.